Demolition work continues on the 100K West sedimentation basin this week. Crews are busy removing the sand filter portion of the basin where more than 800 waste cans are expected to be filled with debris from the demolition of the 300,000 square foot facility. The majority of the basin floor has already been demolished and the rubble is being staged for future use. The demolition of the 100K West water treatment facility is expected to be finished on schedule by midsummer, thanks to the Recovery Act funds. The ARA money coming in enabled them to uh, bring in the extra help and the workers to do the project. Ken is one of those workers who knows firsthand what Recovery Act money can do. The Recovery Act money helped me out a lot. Uh, I was laid off from an automotive plant in Michigan. I heard about the hirings out here, so I basically loaded up the truck and moved out and got a job. While putting people to work, removing the facility is also providing access for CH2M Hill to remediate contaminated soils underneath. Demolition of the 100K West Reactor Water Treatment Facilities is a $17.6 million Recovery Act funded project. Transuranic waste, or true shipments, resumed in March thanks to $30 million from the Recovery Act. Last week, shipments 12 and 13 were loaded and shipped to the Waste Isolation Pilot Plant in Carlsbad, New Mexico. Well, we just shipped out two today. We were originally scheduled to do one shipment because of weather delays, though. We went ahead and put two on the road. They're headed into town right now to finish up their final inspections. Um, we're up to, we're going to do four this week, and then next week we'll go to five a week, and we'll continue with that through... Uh, I believe the 1st of October. True shipments were on hold for about a year. But thanks to Recovery Act funding, CH2M Hill Plateau Remediation Company was able to start shipping again. Without the funding, shipments weren't expected to resume until 2013 or 2014. The stuff that we're shipping right now is uh, waste that Hanford actually characterized about a year and a half ago. With stimulus funds, CH2M Hill plans to characterize and repackage 850 cubic meters of true waste. 14 shipments have been completed since the work kicked off this spring. Resuming shipments is part of CH2M Hill's effort to remove and dispose of transuranic waste from the Hanford site.